and here in Houston, Texas, you see some mixed doubles going on. It may not look that impressive, but it is historic. It is the first time Chinese player and U.S. player have squared off against a U.S. and Chinese player. Right now, it's all just friendly competition, but this is on the eve of the championships for Table Tennis Federation. Very significant event, the first time the U.S. has ever hosted this, ever been on U.S. soil. But a lot of people have to look at this event and think back 50 years ago to ping pong diplomacy. There are a lot of uncertainties in mixed doubles, but we will still go all out for each match. Because it's our first time collaborating, this sense of freshness and excitement will stimulate our greater potential. Definitely a huge honor for me, I mean, to, to be a part of the ping pong diplomacy. I mean, it's something in our history, both USA and China, that brought us together 50 years ago now. And uh, it was played a huge role in uh, kind of becoming friends and easing the ten in maybe a time of tensions. If you notice, when the players serve, they actually stomp their foot. And there's a reason for that. It masks how the player is serving, the kind of spin that he or she is going to put on the ball and how hard they will hit it. Just an example of how subtle this game can be. It's just a table, a couple of paddles, and of course, the ping pong ball and we were given one here as a sort of collectible recognizing this significant event it basically says we're recognizing 50 years of ping pong diplomacy between the united states uh, and china i feel very lucky to be able to participate in this competition it's also the 50th anniversary of china u.s ping pong diplomacy i hope the friendship between china and the u.s will last forever such an incredible feeling, you know. I've, I've played in world championships since I was, I think, 12 years old or so, and they've always been in Asia and Europe, and I've never in my wildest dreams did I expect, uh, you know, to be able to play a world championships in the U.S. Um, so I'm so grateful to be here and to have this opportunity, and um, I just really hope that I can play my best and uh, be able to make my country proud. First of all, I feel very happy to be able to participate, and then I wish all athletes have a good performance. There are loads of sponsors, and of course here at the World Table Tennis Championships in Houston, 90 countries, legions of players, but it all comes down to the winners, and there will just be a few. But to a person, virtually everyone is looking back on what happened a half century ago, and the diplomatic and social and political changes that came out of a simple game of ping pong. And many here wondering if person to person relationships can once again be fostered, who knows where it could lead. Sean Cadle, CGTN in Houston.